Hi, this is Lisa Love to Crochet and Knit. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet a googly-eyed Easter egg. And he's got a little rickrack and he's got a little black mouth. And um, this one is a keychain and then this one I made into a pin. So let's get started on what you're going to need. You're going to need some yarn, the color of your choosing. I'm going to do pink and purple again. I'm going to do the opposite of this one because um, I think it'll show up better with for video purposes and I have my two little pieces of rickrack already cut I don't remember if there's a size for the rickrack I just ordered this off Amazon and it came with in a variety of colors and then you're gonna need some black yarn for the mouth or you could um, purchase these off Amazon for a little mouth for your egg if you wanted to do so you could do that I think they were hundred for like ten dollars or something um, and then you're gonna need a pin or a keychain or both and I have two different size of pins one is an inch and the other one I think is a half an inch and then a pair of googly eyes I purchased these off Amazon they come in a variety of colors and then you're going to need some hot glue to attach the rickrack and a hot glue gun. And then this one has done the same pattern, same amount of stitches. This one is done with a J hook. And then this one is done with a size H hook. So I'm going to do another one of these this size with an H hook. And then, of course, you're going to need a tapestry you need to weave, to weave in your ends and a pair of scissors. So let's get started. I'm going to move some of this up off to the side. I'm going to start with the pink for the bottom here. And then um, we'll go to make it purple in between. So I'm going to start with a slip knot on my hook. So I'm just going to tighten this slip knot on my crochet hook. And then I'm going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. So there's my four. And I'm going to do a half double crochet in the second chain from hook. And then I'm going to put one more in that same stitch. And then I'm going to put one half double crochet in the next. And then two half double crochets in the last stitch. So there's my first row. And then I'm going to chain one. I'm going to turn my work. And I'm going to put two half double crochets in that first stitch. And then one half double crochet in the next three stitches. And then I'm going to put two half double crochets in the last stitch. And there's my second row. And then I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to turn my work. I'm going to put two half double crochets in that first stitch. And then I'm going to put one half double crochet in the next five stitches. And there's four. And then here's my fifth one. And then I'm going to put two half double crochets in this stitch. And remember, I'm still going through both of those um, posts. So there's my third row. I'm going to chain one. And then, actually, I'm going to not do that. I'm sorry, I forgot. This is where I'm going to change color. So I have 
the bottom part done on this one and I'm going to grab my purple and I'm just going to pull the end so it's a little hangover and I'm going to grab my purple and pull it through all of that part of that half double crochet and then what I do is I um, knot these I put a double knot in this and then I weave in my ends so I'm going to chain one I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to put one half double crochet in each stitch across So there's my first row of the purple and I'm going to chain one turn and I'm still going to put one half double crochet in each stitch across. So there is my second row of purple and I'm going to chain one. I'm going to turn my work. And now this one is the round that I attach the googly eyes. And so what I do is I always make sure it's in the center three. And right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stitches. So it works out really even. So I have three stitches on the left and then three stitches on the right and so the ones in the middle are I'm going to use to attach the googly eyes so what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue with my pattern one half double crochets one half double crochet in each of the next three and then I grab my googly eyes and I'm going to hold them with the back facing that way and I'm just going to insert my hook in the first stitch and then with the googly eyes on the hook and I'm gonna just work my half double crochet just as I normally would with the googly eyes in there and then I'm gonna do the same thing in the next stitch and around the googly eyes just as you would a normal half double crochet and the third one I'm gonna do the same you might have to pull the googly eyes a little bit and then just continue with my regular half double crochet and then now I only have three stitches and I'm still going to put one half double crochet in those three stitches this last one is always a little bit tighter and there's my third round of the purple and then I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn my work. Now this is where it gets a little bit um, confusing. I'm still going to put one half double crochet in the first three stitches. Whoops. So I have the, the yarn over and I'm going to insert my hook around behind the googly eyes. I don't know if you can see that well. And then the yarn is still coming from the front and I'm going to pull it and there's my three loops and then I'm going to pull all three through. And then I'm going to put one half double crochet in that middle one working along the back and then I'm going to wrap my crochet hook just like I did before and I'm going to go from the behind and go in that next stitch that's right in front of the other googly eyes. And then I'm going to pull up my third stitch or my third loop, I'm sorry, of that stitch and then pull through all three. And then I'm going to put one half double crochet in the next three. Oops. And this third one is, or this last one is always really hard to get because it's a little bit tighter. So then I'm going to chain one and I turn my work. And so now you have the googly eyes so they're going to set up and they're going to be 
on top of the next row. Oh, and this is also the color change row, so you don't complete that stitch. You're going to want to grab the pink, so you're going to want to cut that row of that yarn, leaving a tail so you can knot and weave in. So I'm going to leave a little pink tail, and I'm going to pull up through all three of those loops. And then remember, I'm going to knot those together, and I'm going to weave in my ends. Now I'm going to chain one with the pink, because it's a color change row. And I'm going to insert my hook, and I'm going to do a half double crochet decrease in those two stitches. And then you're going to want to pull it from the back, push the googly eyes down a little bit. And um, one half double crochet in each of these stitches across to the last two. And you're going to do another half double crochet decrease. So there's one, there's two, three, and four. I'll have one half double crochet. Oh no, I'm sorry. There's five. I counted wrong. There's five half double crochets there. One in each stitch. And then in the last one is a half double crochet decrease in the last two stitches. Excuse me. And make sure you're going through both loops of that last stitch. And I'm going to chain one, turn my work. I'm going to do a half double crochet decrease in those first two. There it is. And then I'm going to put, let me count this correctly so you know what you're doing. You're going to put one half double crochet in the next three stitches and then a half double um, crochet decrease in the last two. And then here's my last half double crochet decrease of this row. And then I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to turn my work so it's front facing again. Now you can see that the egg is taken shape. And now this is the last row. And I'm going to do a half double crochet decrease in those first two stitches of that row. And then I'm just going to half double crochet one in that one stitch. And then a half double crochet decrease in the last two. And then I'm going to chain one. I'm going to leave a little tail and cut my working yarn. I'm going to pull up that loop, make that a knot. And then I'm going to knot these. I'm going to pull them tight so they don't look like they're loose stitches on the end. And then I'm going to weave in my ends. I'm going to weave in the purple on the purple and the pink on the pink. So I'm going to weave in the ends and I'll come back. Okay, so now I have my ends weaved in and I want to get that work rack. And all I'm going to do is just put a little bead of glue along the one side. Sometimes I do half because it's... Um, too hard to keep it close with your finger and then I'm just going to continue with the other one I lay them right on the line of where I want them to to be and then just going to put some more on the other side here and then now I'm just going to trim the overhang On both sides here okay so there is my brick rack that I attached I'm gonna put the hot glue gun aside actually I'll do the the um, pin part first I'm just gonna make it okay so I've added my little bit of glue and add my pin and then I have 
the rest of him just to put the mouth on. And so let's get the black on the tapestry needle. So I just thread the tapestry needle. And then just like I do, I'm going to start underneath one of the eyes and I'm going to pull it from the back to the front and I'm going to leave a tail behind for tying and I'm going to go to the center and I'm going to push it back through just like that if you can see that it's black it's hard to show up and then I'm going to go underneath the other other googly eye pull it up from the back and I'm gonna go down in the front meet and it's gonna be like a little V so there's the mouth and then for the back all I do is make sure that I can tie these sometimes you go in through one end like that so all I do is just make it a simple double knot and not pulling too tight because you don't want the mouth to be distorted. And then I just trim my little ends. And then there is the googly eyed little egg. And he's opposite. Of, remember, this is not the H hook and this is not the J hook. Exactly the same pattern, you know, for different sizes. And there's a big size difference. So, um, you know, you can. Make them your sizes that you prefer. Um, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.